let's get to start demo first so this is a blazor hybrid application where i can use a fluent ui so you can see over here i can use a fluent ui in a one application in a blazor hybrid app so where i can use that fluent ui for all the application like it is a window it is for window and it is also uh, we can use same component for uh, mobile android app also ios app whatever app you uh, know that we can use and also web application as well so that will will build over here in this session so let me show you this is a fluent ui uh, grid data grid and same things for here uh, if you go to counter page so the uh, web application also same grid i uh, i can use it and same for android app okay and uh, if you go to that you know card so this is another uh, component i use or for card which is using for fluent ui so that fluent ui also i can use for android so yeah see card also using for he here and same things for i can use for web application as well so let's get start implementation with dotnet 8 and there is a few changes i all already uh, you know created one complete series in dotnet 7 but yeah there is a few few new things so that's why i created again but there is a new things over here in a fluent ui so that was we have not used in previously which is coming in dotnet 8 so let's get to start so first what i will to do uh, i will just create a new application from the scratch so create a new project and here uh, look for that uh, dotnet myu and i will use the dotnet myu blazor hybrid app so this one so let me open this one and just mention name is it is uh, fluent fluent ui dotnet dotnet myu uh, dotnet blazor dotnet myu dotnet myu blazor hybrid app hybrid app and then let me create a next create a new so this is a simple applications uh, which is given the default uh, template and this application actually hybrid application provide this you know uh, multi uh, platform actually it is providing the android ios mac tizen windows so i'm not going to details because already uh, we have covered everything in my pre last series so you can go and there but yeah one new things is coming in dotnet 8 in this blazor hybrid ad which i will just explain this router dot reservoir so this is just uh, they have just separate and why it's separate i also will explain and what is the use of the separations so that will use in this session okay so first of all what let me run and check it like how is uh, uh, look likes in output so run for for window first uh, window applications okay it is very simple uh, default template it is a home component and counter and also the better uh, component right so similar i if i use for this here uh, let me stop if i uh, open for that android so same component will be there right so let me show you before implementation is start so that we can show you like okay whatever we do from the scratch we will do okay now it's running same things uh, the home component and then counter component also the default this right so what i will do over here now as we see the demo uh, now it's two platform over here they are right right like android and as well as windows but we don't have a uh, web applications right so how we can use that web application on also how i can use that shareable component for now like window android as well as web application right so that is the concept of hybrid applications with the give the flexibility so let me create a another application uh, like for example new project and create a blazor web application and for example here put that web 
web blazor apps and next and just use server side uh, rendering mode because i will use uh, here uh, lint ui so that's why i use choose that server render mode but yeah if you don't want to use a uh, fluent ui so you can just use uh, uh, web assembly as well so let's okay that's also created now if you open and in this uh, structure also you will see the same components and so all right but don't worry i will remove everything and i will just use create a separate or shared uh, component which we can use for here and as well here right so let me run this also and see uh, what is the default uh, template over here in this web application a blazor web application so uh, start with new instance now see this is same uh, home and counter and weather right so this is same right so let me close everything and now what I will do first and first I will delete everything okay so first I will go that you know our blazor hybrid dot net my applications and if you go to home page so I'll just remove that uh, you know delete this weather component and also let me remove this here right only home components there is a nothing just you know welcome things right same things what I will do uh, for this blazor web application also remove that all the uh, others component and only we have a uh, error and that home component right so that is fine right because I will use this home component uh, my others uh, child uh, fluent UI component right so how we can use it or this is a concept of how we can create a shared library which I can use for this both like web and you know Android and web window applications right so that is a, another concept which I will uh, explain over here right let me create a new project and here what you need to do just choose that razor class library okay so use that razor class library next make it to shareable uh, shared shared razor class library and whatever name you can just want you can use, use it use it and use dot net 8 and just create it so now it's created it's very simple uh, uh, structure over here it has a ww root folders and also the import results uh, things means as a imports result files and also here is a default component it is uh, visible over here you can just use it here but yeah I will create a new one and also just remove this one so that no confusion okay so this is a plain and you know empty uh, class library shared library which I will use for this both right so before use that okay what what you can do that I right? like before using how we can implement so that I can use whatever component inside this you know in this uh, razor uh, class library which is shared library so both can accessible right so first of all what you can do just add the reference okay so add the reference use this shared library for this your uh, blazor.net hybrid blazor app, app application uh, project and same things for this web application as well so let me add reference for both the project so let me add so yeah now you are able to see if you go to dependencies so I add this shared library for this web application as well and also that Android and Windows applications right project so here uh, that the dependencies and uh, shared library is not added over here yeah it is there right so yeah I just added over here so these two things is done now finally what you can do so that you can use your shared library now it is available whatever component you will create let me create a one components uh, for example create a new item as a razor component and let me name it to 
uh, grid right fluent fluent ui grid so let me create a grid over here and this grid i will use for this uh, you know both the applications like all the web application as well as there right so let me implement here the fluent ui so what i can do for the fluent ui so first of all you just uh, shared library you can just add a uh, packages so you need to add two packages so let me add these two packages yeah first of all uh, this one let me zoom in for you fluent ui asp.net core component as well as this icons because we need to use some icons as well so let me add this once it's done then let me add another one icons these two things is very important okay once it's done what you need to do one service also you have to add in this both project for example the hybrid app as well as the web applications right so what service you have to add it over here uh, go to your myu.program.cs file here you need to add one service let me add this right see this is add fluent ai component so this you have to just add it over here okay so this is first step for this both side like for here and as well here program.cs file before here you can just add this so this is done now what i can do i can just implement right so go to your razor razor uh, component and shared component and here i will use that fluent ui okay so first i will uh, implement our uh, that uh, grid right so it's very simple let me copy some code because i don't want to write that code so let me copy the whole code of this here just me refresh and i'll show you as well okay so here some missing right so either two way you can just you know fix this issue or fill in ui uh, you know reference you can just add directly in this component or what you can do just you can just use in our global right see there's a global files we can uh, where i can uh, edit our reference right so what i can do instead of uh, component wise i will use here so that i can use all the components right so you just use that you know reference of components fluent ui sp.net core components and if you go back here now that problem has been solved right see so what i can do over here just i use that fluent ui grid and in this grid i just create a id and this items actually this is a property where i just added whatever our collections of items and i just specify few columns uh, columns and you know, uh, space and all and here t grid items actually mentions whatever the collections or entities right and here there's there's a four property i can add it over here and also i can make it to shortable so that i can shortable our whatever columns right so this is the specify the columns right there's the titles and there's the data as well so this is a simple i can specify the fluent ui grid i already covered my many session in my previous session so you can go back to there and simplest uh, now it is a default uh, codes of that template given us for weather forecast as well so whatever data just i'm trying to get over here at least uh, first five records actually i'm just trying to get over but yeah you can we can in increase and i just create a model of that for weather forecast right so this is a simple uh, component okay and now this component i will use in our web application as well as there right and okay so let me add it to our go to first in our web applications okay and in this web application go to the home component and here i will use that component so how we can use that it's very simple whatever name we are creating our component name okay this is name of this so let me copy this name and go back to your home component of web applications and here just paste it over here and just close this this component 
and definitely it asking to you know uh, the reference of that library so just import this to your namespace so that it it will get rid the error right so the now this is done and same things what i will do in our blazor hybrid app application as well so go to your uh, here component and home component also mention here right and same things you have to just resolve this uh, reference error solve that and now uh, let me build build the application and see is there any build error or not and one more thing i will show you like actually i'm missing that uh, i'm miss that because i want to see uh, definitely that error i will get it right uh, so that's why i miss that so that uh, while running or uh, you know our application while running so i can show you why i am leave it that part okay so don't worry about that okay now it will succeed there is a no error but yeah definitely i will not get you know as expected output okay so was first i will just run this uh, uh, android applications so debug start without debugging mode so that i can run all the three application together okay now see this is actually i want to show you like see uh, my grid is there everything is working also expected see but design is missing right so one thing i'm missing that i will show you uh, not i i miss actually that blazor hybrid app uh, with that fluent ui it is not directly work so one thing i need to add that i will show you okay so same thing let me show you for other uh, other application other platform as well for example window uh, let me run for window as well add a uh, debug without starting debugging so partially just open this okay now see the design is missing right so this is expected don't worry about that i'll fix that and uh, last one is our web application so let me open that web application uh, side by side debug start debugging now see yeah so see web application is no complaining right because it is expected whatever we want so this is expected but in our if you see our windows application not supported that so that i need to add so what i miss or what i need to do that so let me show you uh, go back your applications and for this windows application i know a uh, blazor hybrid app uh project uh, go to your uh, uh, go to your layout and uh, platforms okay go to your index.html file here i need to add one reference where i need to add one reference i need to add the one script as well okay so what is those script let me copy this script and this script also mention here right so let me break down so that you can able to see what is script actually it is so let me break it this too so this is simple whatever your app name so you can just change it your app name so my app name is this so in this script app name you just change it to app name and in src you just add a you no know, content and then microsoft fluent a dot net core component then js and initialize a loader for web view because see the blazor hybrid app everything actually load with this web view so that's why we have to add this reference and once we add this reference save it uh, if it is reload is properly working so it should be working fine but yeah i don't think so uh, reloading is working so what i need to do just close this and close all the windows application as well and what i need to do again just open for windows 
so right click on that debug without debugging let me open for windows first now see this time i am able to see as per whatever the expected design as well right so this is fluent ui we are using we create a one component which we can use in windows as well as web application as well as android so how we can check that android also is working or not let me change it to for android uh, emulator android and let me open for this android as well uh, debug start without debugging okay now see uh, now we get that expected result as well so now it looks feel good not messy uh, with fluent ui component i can load in our android application uh, one more thing you have to do uh, while using the share library so if you go to your uh, route you no know, route files let me zoom in uh, routes dot razor file for this you know hybrid project so i can use you know there is a additional uh, dot net 8 actually provide like additional additional assemblies okay so that you can just do like for example new array and here what you can do you can just type up type off and you can just mention your whatever shared libraries assemblies so you can is use it like for example flint ui grid right so you can just use this so as of now there is no issue but yeah later on definitely once you use some services on this you know component definitely uh, that will complaining right so before that actually you have to just you have to know right uh, what is the fixes for that so you just use this grid and this component and import this uh, razor library and dot assemblies so this one setting you have to do let me bring back to here okay so this one setting you have to do in your program dot main files right uh, you have to do this is you know router dot razor files in our this application this project uh, this fluent ui blazer project and if you go to here like for example web application also it has same thing so that also you can just do over here as well so let me copy this same line to there and uh, go back to your razor component and just mention here let me remove extra code and let me bring that name as well whatever assembly so these two things is done and one last thing is you have to do in this you know web application not in our you know uh, fluent blazor hybrid app and in program.cs file you just add to end here you can just mention you know add additional assemblies so this this tells this this settings you have to done while you using the shared library in blazor hybrid app in upcoming session uh, will in this series we'll actually use a real world example for example uh, i will use uh, other components of fluent ui with this you know card operation like insert update delete everything we'll do for this all the platform as well right so till now uh, thank you have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe like and share